Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rika and as you seen from the title today, we are testing out the new Ordinary concealers. I know so many of you heard about the Ordinary and love their products. I love them too. They are very affordable and effective and I think simple to use. And I think that's why everyone loves them. I was really excited when I heard that they were coming out with concealers. I already have their foundation. I've been using it for a couple of months now. I'm not gonna say that it's my favorite foundation, but it's a regular in my routine and I keep coming back to it. I got these in the mail yesterday and I tried them just to see if they were a good match and, and yeah, the color was nice. But I was not wearing them for too long, so the big test is today to see how they wear throughout the day. But before we jump right into the test, I wanted to share some useful information with you first. I ordered these from the Ordinary website and they were 5.8 euros each. I think it's fairly priced. It's within the price range of drugstore concealers, so I can't really say anything bad about the price. I heard some people were complaining about that they were really small and shiny, and yes, I can agree that they are shiny. And when I opened up the box yesterday and I got out these, I was shocked that it's really tiny. I was not expecting them to be this tiny, even though some other people said it already that they were tiny. And then I opened up and got out this tube and this is the tiniest thing that I've ever seen, honestly. If I put it next to my finger, you see, it's kind of the size of my finger. And I don't really have big fingers or big hands or anything. But don't be fooled by the size, you get a decent amount of product. You have 8 milliliters in here and just to compare it with some other concealers, I have my shape tape and my favorite drugstore concealer, the Maybelline. And yes, in the size... The Ordinary is the smallest one. With the shape tape you get 10 milliliters, so it's a bit more. With Maybelline you get 6.8 milliliters, which is a bit less. And here 8 milliliters, it's in the middle. And being the cheapest, I think it's really nice. Now about this two packaging. I have mixed feelings about this because the application is gonna be like one more step because you have to open it out, squeeze out some on the back of your hand, on your plate or somewhere, and then apply it with a brush or something, and then you can blend it out. When with these ones, you get an applicator. So it's so much easier and more convenient to use them and apply them. But here comes the tricky part. These are not so sanitary. You're constantly touching your skin with the applicator, putting back the applicator into the product, the bacteria is just getting into the product. It's no, it's not sanitary and I know it, but I keep using them still. <coughs> Even though I shouldn't, I should get out some product with these ones also. Well, I mean, this one, there's no way that the bacteria is getting into because there's just a tiny hole to squeeze out the product and that's it. So this is what I mean when I say I have mixed feelings. The application is a bit more complicated, but it's a lot more hygienic and sanitary. So yeah, it's just something that you should keep in mind when you're picking this up. I got three of the shades, but they come in 36 shades. I think it's a pretty nice range. And what I wanted to mention is the names. I don't really like when brands are coming up with fantasy names for their shades. I mean, of course you can assume something. For example, if you say a shade name is called Hungary or Budapest, it's gonna be obviously in the lighter category, but that's it. You're not gonna know what it is. And with these ones, you get two numbers and a letter. The first number is gonna define within your, for example, in the lighter range or the deeper range. And the second number is gonna define your shade within the shade range. For example, me, I got 1.0 and 1.1. It means that one is the lightest category, and from there I got the lighter shades, the zero and the one. And the letter in the end, it's gonna define your undertone. I got the N, which means natural, but they have pink undertones, yellow undertones, they have red undertones, so many undertones, and it's so easy to navigate and find your match. I think I said enough, and let's jump to the part what everyone's been waiting for, the actual application of the product. I already prepped my skin, I did my skincare routine the usual way I do every day. I can apply my foundation now and I have the Ordinary the Coverage Foundation. I don't have the Serum Foundation because my shade is constantly sold out, I don't know when it's gonna be back. I wanted to get it for so long but it's just sold out all the time. But these ones are pretty nice, I've been using them for a couple of months and I pretty much like them. They are not my favorite but, but I like them and they are in my rotation and I'm using them constantly. So my shade is 1.1N and I just got some on the back of my hand and I'm gonna apply it with a wet sponge.
I enjoy this foundation pretty much because it's on the fuller coverage side but it's still looking skin like I still have this skin like glow on my face and uh, and I really like that so I got three shades 1.0 and 1.1 n and 2.3 p this darker shade to contour or bronze I swatched it on the back of my hand and it seemed pretty light so I'm not sure if it's gonna be good because I haven't tried this one yet the two lighter shades are obviously for my under eye area they say that you're supposed to pick up the same shades what you have from the foundation in my case it's 1.1 n but I wanted to make sure that it's light enough so that's why I got 1.0 n also first I'm just gonna go in with 1.1 n and I'm just gonna squeeze out the tiniest amount on the back of my hand like this much and I'm gonna get a, a uh, flat brush to pick it up and then I'm gonna apply it where I want to conceal and I'm blending it out with the same sponge I'm trying to be really gentle and not blend away the product I just wanted to keep it where I applied it with my, with my brush Now that one side is done, I can pretty much see a difference, I hope you can see it too. I don't really have bad dark circles under my eyes, so there's not really much to cover up. I can see that this side is looking a lot more fresh and useful. I want to make it a bit brighter, so I have 1.0N on the back of my hand and I'm going to apply it just the tiniest amount in the inner corner. And I'm just blending still with the same sponge. Now I can definitely see the difference between the two sides. Again, I don't have bad dark circles, so there was not much to cover up, but uh, it, it's really nice. I'm gonna do the other eye really quickly. Okay, so concealer blended out really nicely. I like what I see in my mirror. It layered really nice on the top of the foundation, but they are from the same brand, so I guess it's something that you could expect. Now it's time to try out the darker shade to bronze up my face. As I said earlier, I tried it on the back of my hand yesterday and it seemed pretty light, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work out or not. I'm gonna apply it the same way I did with my concealer. I have some on the back of my hand and I'm gonna go in with a small brush. Just painting it onto my face, it seems okay, but let's see what we have after I blend it out. I'm just using a round brush and uh, I'm trying to be really gentle and not take away the color. I definitely feel like I could uh, use the darker shade, uh, like one shade darker. I'm not saying that this is not showing up, but I want something more. It's really natural skin, like this, like like when the sun is just kissed your face. I'm not mad at this, but I wanted something more. Probably it's just the poor choice of the shade. Okay, so I already see the concealer is creasing. So I'm gonna dab it off and then I'm gonna set it really quickly with my Fenty Beauty powder. I'm just using a tiny amount to prevent any creasing. I don't want to bake or anything today. Okay, I set the concealer. I really love what I see. It's really smooth, not exaggerating the texture what I have. It's not looking cakey, it's just, it just beautiful. I'm gonna do the rest of my face really quickly and I'm gonna be right back. I finished off my makeup. I wanted to keep it really simple. Just one eyeshadow, some blush, highlighter and the gloss and basically that's it. My concealer is still looking nice. I don't have any creasing, uh, no cakiness. It just, it's just nice. I like how it looks like. I'm gonna go by with my day and uh, basically I'm just gonna be home sitting in front of a computer and doing some work and yeah I'm gonna check in with you guys later
Hey guys, so it's been like uh, two, three hours since I applied my makeup. I know it's not a long time, but I just came out for a walk with my dogs. They are running right there. So I came out for a walk and I wanted to show you how my makeup looks like in natural light because it's a lot different than when I'm inside and I have my lights and everything. So yeah, I just wanted to check out with you. I think it's looking really, really nice. Uh, I'm growing my nose a bit uh, because it was running and of course my makeup came up. Um, came off under my nose um, but under my eyes my concealer is looking nice there's no texture like extra texture it's not exaggerating my pores or anything there not exaggerating my fine lines so I'm putting the rest of this uh, concealer just for now and the dogs are getting crazy killing each other they're just playing but yeah Yeah, so I'm gonna check up with you again in a couple of hours and then we'll see how it's okay, holding up. I'm back for the final checkup. It's been a good 8-9 hours since I applied my makeup. Honestly, I forgot to check the time when I applied my makeup. I'm so sorry for that. So I don't know exactly how long it's been, but about 8 or 9 hours. My hair looks a bit crazy because I haven't had with my dogs for like 2 hours and it was really windy. And I was steering all the time, my nose was running all the time, so my foundation came off and there's a bit of redness here, but that's normal, there's no foundation that would hold up against rubbing your nose with a tissue constantly. Um, but the rest of my face is still looking decent, especially under my eyes. There's no cakiness and there's no creasing, and those are the two things that I hate. I'm not gonna say that it's still the same smooth as it was in the beginning of the day, but it's looking decent and it's, in my opinion, it's looking better than what I would expect normally after 9 hours of wearing makeup. The only bad thing that I can say is that my fine lines under my eyes are more visible, but that's it. And as I said, it's still looking better than what I would expecting. So, do I recommend this concealer or not? Absolutely, it's a big yes for me, a big thumbs up. I think it's an amazing concealer for me, at least on my skin. It was behaving amazingly. It was holding up really nice. Application was nice. It was layering really well on the top of the foundation. The powder was not looking cakey on top of the concealer. So everything was really nice. The shade range is amazing. The price, I think unbeatable. It's really affordable and you get a decent amount of product and a little goes really a long way so it's gonna last you for a long long time so that would be it for today guys please let me know what you think about the video what do you think about the concealer have you tried it not are you planning getting it trying it i would love to know what you think about it thank you so much for being here today with me and i hope you like this video if you did so please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i hope you're all having a wonderful day and i hope to see you on the next one bye bye